welcome to Bella TV. My name is Jennifer, and today I am joined by these two beautiful ladies um, who you may recognize, uh, big actresses, uh, both Daniela Monet and Ivana Lynch. Um, Ivana, you would know from probably the biggest movie franchise ever made, which is Harry Potter. Um, Daniela, you've seen all over the screen. Um, one of my favorites of yours was uh, on Victorious. Um, alongside Ariana Grande and Victoria Justice. So ladies, you are actresses, podcasters, authors, entrepreneurs, a little bit of everything. Um, but I'm gonna let you each take it from here and tell our audience a little bit about yourselves. Ivana, do you wanna start? Sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you yeah, so kind of covered it there. Um, I got my start in, I suppose, this world of entertainment through acting when I was 14. And um, yeah, I've been acting since then. And maybe in my late teens, I got really into animal activism and veganism. Um, just found that it was such a healthy and empowering lifestyle. And it, it, it made my life better. And uh, then I became passionate about kind of vegan advocacy and trying to help other people transition to a cruelty-free lifestyle. Um, and then, what was it, three, four years ago, um, I got in touch with uh, Daniela and Andrew, who are also vegan activists, passionate vegan activists. And yeah, we had this idea for this company that, you know, the, the other side of, well, not one aspect of veganism is having cruelty-free products and a beauty routine, which people don't often think about when they think veganism, but um, we just really felt like there's so many people who are behind this cause, but it's not always easy to, to put that into practice. So yeah, we set it up four years ago and th three or four years ago. And Daniela, you know better than me. <laughs> no, you're right. It was somewhere in between there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's where we're at. And, you know, we, I think we're I feel lucky in that we get to do a bit of everything. You know, I still get to do my acting and writing and to do this as well. Uh, it's just such a privilege. Yeah. I love that. Well, we're definitely going to talk about um, the Kinder Beauty Box, uh, which you two ladies uh, co-founded together. Um, but Daniela, why don't you give us a little intro into who you are? Oh, sure. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Daniela Monet. And like you mentioned before, um, have done some acting. So may or may not be familiar with a show called Victorious, where I played Trina Vega. Um, been an actress since, gosh, I was about five years old. I grew up in LA, so it was kind of like my soccer practice after school, you know, going to auditions. And um, gratefully so, um, you know, I've been able to create somewhat of a following um, due to like the, the jobs that I've taken along the way. And then also, in addition to that, I've sort of pivoted a little bit um, to create a little more security. And I've taken some of what I've earned acting and become an investor in ethical companies. Um, and so that's given me a lot of purpose. And I've had a lot of, um, I guess, just experience now in the last five years investing in companies and co-founding uh, co now, or co-finding rather, um, Kinder Beauty with Ivana and our third partner, Andrew Bernstein. And it's been a really eventful few years, I must say, you know, I, I became a mom of two in the last two and a half years. And something about having these companies in my life and my circle brings me this immense purpose to create just a much better world for them. And so this has been like an exciting process. Um, and so as you both mentioned, um, obviously Kinder Beauty Box, um, it's a vegan, cruelty-free, clean, beauty subscription box, essentially. Um, so tell us a little bit about, you know, obviously you shared where this idea came from. You're both very passionate about it. Um, but what kind of sparked this, let's do a subscription box, the two of you working together, and then tell us a little bit about it, how people can get it, what they can expect to find in the box. Sure, will I go, will I go for it, Daniela? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Um, um, I think, I mean, it, it, it was kind of a no brainer for us because you know, whatever people feel about consuming animals, I think almost unanimously people are on the same page by animal testing that it's, you know, it's so cruel, it's so unnecessary. People don't want to be supporting that. And yet actually taking this step to, you know, only choose cruelty-free vegan brands is, is actually quite complicated. And when you're in a pinch, when you, you know, you need toothpaste or cleanser, you're like, do I really 
if you want to read a book or read read a you know yes, Google ten different articles to figure out what's the right product. So um, we just found that here's something that so many people can get behind. Here's something that has a purpose, has a cause, but is also such a fun um, sort of you know a more lighthearted way of um, just bringing bringing joy to people's lives um bringing beauty into people's lives and yeah we just thought if we can make this accessible and and that it, it, it takes all the guesswork and all the research out of um transitioning to cruelty free beauty if we can do that for people then that'd be great and and that's what we did and um yeah it's like grown from there every year and I, I personally have learned so much I think when we started it, I really felt like are there really going to be enough cruelty free and vegan brands to keep this this box going and uh yeah my mind has been blown by all the cruelty free but also like independent brands clean brands like a lot what's so nice about doing this work is that so many of these companies um if they care about veganism and, and cruelty free they usually care about you know being ethical across the board and um yeah it's just such a it's a it's such a nice thing to work on because you meet such great people who are very passionate about their companies, what they're putting out there. And yeah, all the things that I'm passionate about. I love that. Actually, you'd be surprised. I We hear a lot here, Bella, about uh, clean and vegan and cruelty-free. I feel like it's a big uh, almost movement that's happening right now, which is fantastic. Do you have any, mm. Daniela, do you have any favorite products that you've featured or maybe you know a staple item that goes into a bunch of the boxes? Yeah, I have several. I think, you know, what's really amazing about where we've come to with Kinder Beauty is just, and I said this recently when I opened our February boxes, I was like, wow, we've really elevated in a lot of ways. And it's been exciting to see the growth in transitioning this company through being somewhat more of a startup to now having a little bit of, you know, some experience. I, I absolutely love working with companies like Earth Harbor. I think they check almost every box. They're ethical in more ways than one. Um, and the, the founder is now a great friend. I've been able to do a little live with her. She is a mom and she works out of her home, but now she's transitioned in this huge, like live loft workplace, which I think is so fun for a mom to be working at home. And she makes the most incredible products. So clean, of course, clean and vegan and cruelty-free. Um, I also love working with 100% Pure. They were in our very first box, um, a great company that I just... I'm so proud of. And then um, we've also worked with recently Osea, which is incredible. Um, a lot of people love Osea. That's a high quality, high, I'd say even price point brand that I'm really proud to partner with. Um, and we're working with Pacifica. These are brands that like, you know, are more well-versed I'd say, but we have so many that are more mom and pop kind of shops and companies that you'd even see in the, you know, aisles at Whole Foods. Um, to the Isles of Sephora, to Ulta, we've, we've kind of covered a lot. Yeah, so essentially, I mean, not only doing the vegan, clean, cruelty-free, but also supporting small businesses, which is fantastic. Um, and then in addition to that, a portion of your um, proceeds go to charity as well. So can you tell us about that? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Danielle, you go for it. Oh, okay. Um, I think just from the very beginning, that was something we knew we needed to do. That was something that we wanted to do. And um, it's been really exciting because we've been able to give back to organizations that we are actually, you know, supporters of. I remember in the beginning, Yvonne, we were thinking like, who, who gets donated to this month, right? Because we were transitioning every month to a new organization. And it was exciting because, you know, a lot of these organizations really bank on the support of their vegan advocates, right? And now we're making it a bit more mainstream. We're opening that up to people that may or may not know about their work and you know ultimately their dollar is powerful and they're able to give back to these organizations that are making you know lives for animals so much better and doing the hard work that even I, I couldn't even do myself um, so I'm so grateful but I think what's also nice about being able to be in a position to give back and make that like a real pillar of our business is we're able to pivot in the event that like something else needs our cause you know ultimately our biggest thing is how do we help animals in this industry, right? But there's been times like, you know, when the Australian bushfires were going on, we donated back to that. And I think like 
that's just what it is. This is a company built by advocates. And at the end of the day, you know, our work is, is important in more ways than one. And we want to be able to help. That's beautiful. And you're also doing, um, which is kind of exciting for anyone who's, you know, interested in maybe getting involved um, or getting the box itself. You're doing a new campaign for the month of February, correct? Yes. Okay. So tell our uh, viewers about that. So are you talking about the, the campaign around love and I believe it's like an influencer type of campaign. Oh, oh yes. We're actually, yeah, we're opening up to influencers. We haven't done a lot of influencer marketing. That's actually been something that we haven't put a ton of effort into uh, until recently, really, when we realized like, this is something that is working, you know, people want to talk about products that they love and boxes that they support. Um, so I'm not actually even tuned in on the actual ins and outs of it, but I was in a meeting recently where I heard that we're finally going to be opening ourselves up to influencers, which, you know, not to get too business in the weeds of the business, but for the longest time, you know, Facebook marketing, Google marketing, all of that was where I felt like we were spending a lot of efforts in. And then we realized like, we're people. At the end of the day, we're a company based on pe by, by people. We're not just like this big entity. And we want to relate to our customers and our customers love being a part of our community. So let our customers help because that's like the, the low hanging fruit that we think can really move the needle. So I think it's a perfect month to kick it off. That's great. And then you mentioned, you started to mention something else as well. Oh, about love. Well, I just was talking about the actual box itself. So the month of February, we have two collections every month. And I was looking at our, our box this next coming month and I was reading up on the brands and I realized every single one is women owned. And I thought that that was really cool because it's really important for us to shed light on companies that may or may not have had that same sort of platform and to be able to support women owned companies in the month of like, you know, Valentine's Day, whatever, if you celebrate, you don't. I just think it's a, a little special thing that we, we did. Yeah, that's great. So, I mean, I personally love a good beauty subscription box. It gives you a great opportunity to try different brands and then potentially find a new favorite. Um, for anyone who wants to follow along with either one of you um, or start getting their, their subscription box, uh, let them know where they can follow, links, handles, et cetera. Totally, yeah. So we're at kindofbeauty.com, um, Kind of Beauty Box on Instagram. I think that's our most active channel. And um, yeah, it's really easy. You just sign up for a subscription. The longer you subscribe for, the cheaper your subscription will be. Um, you know, I know a lot of people are concerned about will I use all the products? You can all you can always preview the collections each month. We'll send we'll send uh, the upcoming collection, and you can skip a box if you want to, or you can send it to you know gift it to someone else if you want. That's what I really love about it because I mean I love beauty products, but obviously there are some things we can't always cater to everyone. We really do try and pick neutral colors but um yeah there'll be months where I don't use something but then it's always like I'll give it to a friend and to me that's like that's actually like an act of vegan activism and it's it's an act of kindness so um yeah it, it, it we try and make it really simple and so that we're, you're not feeling like you're wasting things and a lot of the brands in the box are really passionate about sustainability so you feel good about subscribe subscribing um yeah you can subscribe for monthly model uh, you can go to our marketplace. Um, you can subscribe for six months onwards. It's, it's really up to you, but it, I think that's something that I'm really proud that we've done over the time that we have made it, ex, you know, flexible and try to uh, accommodate the customers' needs. Um, yeah, come, have my leaving anything out there, Daniela? I don't know. I mean, if if maybe the price point just. Mm -hmm. So our boxes um, at the very lowest is there are $23 a month and you'll always get a minimum of $85 or more in value upwards to $165. Mm -hmm. And um, that box, depending on your package, you can, like uh, Evie said, you can actually pick which collection you want to go with if there's one that tailors more to your needs than another. And it gets you access to the marketplace, which is a, another shop we have for sort of one-off purchases that we just love and maybe didn't fit in the box or is in a different price point. Um, and also what I think is cool, which I, I think this is new. I don't even know if you've heard this yet, Evie, but, um, I was listening to Andrew and it was such a great idea. He was saying for those who actually do have excess products, we're actually working on something where we can partner 
with either a company or um, provide tools to then be able to donate whatever products you didn't use to maybe a woman's shelter or someone in need um, and make that transition very seamless. So that way you don't feel like you just have extra product that you know isn't gonna be used, so. Wow, that's great. I love, I mean, you can never have too many beauty products, but your price point is great. <laughs> Um, the fact that you're giving, you can. <laughs> you can, uh, giving <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm so supporting, you know, women-owned businesses, small businesses, especially vegan, clean, cruelty-free. This is all fantastic. Um, I'm excited to see and try the box myself. So thank you both for, for joining me and we'll uh, send you some. Yes, I would love to. I love beauty products. So Keep them coming. Oh my gosh, please give us your email or your, your information and we'll send you awesome. we'll send you a box. Awesome. Thank you both of you for Thanks. joining me. This is really exciting and I know our audience is going to love it. We love all things beauty and you know giving back here at Bella. So I appreciate you both joining us for Bella TV. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.